Just a couple of weeks remaining in the offseason for Texas Tech Volleyball. You're watching Above the Net. I'm Taylor Peters alongside the head man himself, Tony Graystone. Coach, you're headed back on the road again this weekend for a couple of tournaments. As you get a chance to see your team live in action and play in another opponent, what in particular are you looking for? Well, we just want to keep making progress over the things that we had on our list from the end of the season. So, you know, just being faster with our offense, getting some of our new kids more involved in what we do as we, you know, graduate some players and new roles open up. And then just, you know, get better out of system and just, you know, kind of let the the systems that we're having in place, they sink in for another year and, and you just kind of layered on top of each other and we should just look better. Speaking of having a year to kind of get into the system, Missy Owens obviously entering her senior season, Sarah Redding and, and Katie Keenan along with that too. What do you anticipate seeing from them as they hopefully kick it into a, an even higher gear as they head into their yeah, final year? Yeah, if we do this right, then when you get to be a senior, the game slows down. And, and it's, we always talk to the seniors, okay, what are you doing with that extra time? And are you communicating better? Are you being a better leader? Are you anticipating more and making sure the team is more prepared for what's about to happen? And, and that's what we, we're pushing for them a lot. And you can see it for sure. Katie, for sure, you can see um, everything is slowed down and, and she continues to jump higher and get stronger in the weight room and, and take her game to new places. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm expecting a big senior year for her. As you add on Kiari, another recruit in this class, you kind of tie a bow on that recruiting class. What do you like about her and the rest of this group yeah. that you'll be bringing in? Well, it's a big group. You know, we have eight players coming in. Um, and we've got two of them who graduated early and are here this spring, Alex and Haley. So we've got a, a jump with them. But the group in general, you know, it's, we've got all the positions covered. It's, it's our first full class and we hit it pretty big. So I think these are a lot of players that are going to be uh, big names around here for a long time. But Kiari, especially, you know, really quick athletic girl. Um, and, and we talk about the game being slow, the, the game's slow for her. And so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what she does in the Big 12. And um, just a super good athlete. You know, she's got great ball control, just a good sense about her. And I think her personality is going to be great for us. Can you talk a little bit more about Alex and Haley in particular and what you like about being able to have mid-year kids yeah. and the difference that it makes for them on the court? This is a big deal. And, you know, and hopefully we'll start doing this more often with our incoming players. But, you know, to give them a full semester to acclimate and, and be part of our program and um, get to know the players and build those relationships. And, you know, when a player comes in in the fall, they've got 17 days to do all that and get ready to play. And it, it's hard to do. There's a lot of stressors going on for those girls in their first semester like that. So, it, you know, for, for those two, for sure, they, they've adapted so well and, and they were mature enough to be ready to handle it. So uh, I think you're going to see them be able to jump right in and, and help us a lot sooner than maybe normally. Coach, you've done the spring ball thing quite a few times in your career. Is there anything in particular that you like, um, especially about this group and the way that you've seen them grow and develop in this spring? Yeah, they, they're hungry. You know, they, they had a good taste of postseason last year, and, and we didn't get every goal knocked off that we wanted, but we got a lot of them done and, and put ourselves in a place where we can really set the bar even higher as we move forward. So, um, you know, when they decide they're ready to go, they look pretty good. And, and so um, I'm excited to see where this ends up, but right, right now we're in a good place. All right, Coach, thanks so much for yeah. your time. I appreciate it.